In her eyes are brazen butterflies that synchronize the gift of flight framed and wrapped tight near the left thigh of the night. Vision is the incision winning along the right race run rampant on all ramparts of the past. Love, war, justice, and vengeance. Fixation flounders when fathomed by all the name devices, veiled in the cast of the die. Chance be took, castling the rook neath the rake of knowledge. What was once under is now known. A netted plan pierces the sweet surface of potential planet. She holds the folds of the future in her arrows. Darts from the eyes weave the loom of careful cloth. Waiting on a call, an echo down a hall. You are to revere the shape of that sound. Cradle the yearning wrapped round the wrenching hunk of divination. Over unity holds the keys to home. The breath and depth a full storm strumming the strings of quantum theory and the grace of gratitude given as a gift of thanks. The story has repeated as many times as were needed for six cycles to stabilize under the guise of looking for lost eyes and a holy hunt for feathered balance. Equilibrium lives as the golden heart versus opprobrium. She needs your near wind for the color of her valor to resound in full howl. The seeds planted in places of peace have embedded root in the paths of the star-crossed, ready now, free soon. Upon first glimpse of a new day, dancing just behind the iris, the plan unfolds one star at a time. A mirror does not stand in judgment in the face of a twin. It reflects into the spirit and refracts prismatic brilliance across the timeless tale of a spiraling eight, a spinning light left for the library leading to the same stanza, the same song on the same page, one book at a time, yes, even through the scorched scarcity of the crime enacted in Alexandria, once haven of redacted knowledge for the longest, yes, even through the bounty paid out in Hierapolis, when the light left a window loose to not the dividing noose, this magnetic action carried on out. One library at a time, thousands of books per life, across the sweeping sands of time and the countless needles of pine, hundreds of songs per decade, all the plans the muse could choose or lay, running the rule of the law in the shoes of Hermes, devoid of cold, caught in the heat underneath the bowl in full thaw. The flywheel is of age, the yarn of years has sewn the secret stitch left unspoken, that which is bound beneath these stars shall never go broken. The glyphic brand is now at hand and held in the hue of the one before you. Inscribed in emerald in a flash of electric arc, all now rides on you. Her bow, pinpointing aim for her arrows to 